full of boring marketing misfits. Get ready for the ride of your life with Dean Holland in The Drive. Good morning, happy Monday. <laughs> Dean Holland here, of course, on the way to the Internet Profits headquarters. Thank you for joining me here on this journey. I'll tell you what I've just been thinking about. You know, many people, like, well, not many people, all of us as humans, as individuals, we're consuming every second of every single day, whether that's through our vision of seeing things and consuming what we're seeing, whether we're listening to things and consuming through our ears, we're constantly consuming. Now, here's the important part of that. <clears throat> are you being, like, are you being selective in what you're choosing to consume? Here's what I'm talking about, right, in case this sounds a little woo-woo and, and weird. Like, a lot of people, they choose to consume the news, the media either newspapers or news television, new channel, news channels on television. They choose to consume that. A lot of people choose to consume daytime TV shows. A lot of people choose to consume chat shows that are, you know, full of just negativity and all kinds of manners of different things. Does that make sense? Like, people are choosing to consume certain things or not choosing to consume certain things. And... <clears throat> Here's really what I've been thinking about this morning. Like, take me, even on this journey to the offices, right? So, after about, normally what I tend to do now, if you've been watching the drive since the beginning, you'll notice they've got a little shorter, which has been a deliberate decision. Because my entire journey from the moment I leave my house through to when I walk through the door in my office is around about 10, 11 minutes. Now, what I do now is I go to the shop and I actually have like a, a protein shake on the way to on the way to the office. So it takes me around about four minutes or so to get to the shop, okay, to get to the store. So I've started going to the store first, getting my drink, and then going on to the office. So the drives generally are around about five or six minutes now. But in that four minutes, like I could choose to do one of two things really. Well, yeah, let's just keep it simple. I could either have the radio on and listen to whatever happens to be on the radio at that stage in the car, whether it might be a song, some music, or often, because of the times that I'm setting off, the news might be on. Now, I don't listen to news. I don't read newspapers, really, unless I just happen to be bored in an airport and there's one that sat on a chair next to me or something. <laughs> I don't listen to the news, I don't watch or listen to any of that kind of stuff because I find it very negative, I don't believe it's necessarily all true and to be honest I just choose what I'm consuming, what's going into my head and so I look at it on this journey to the office and I just dug something out this morning which is why I've been more so thinking about this topic this morning, I don't know if you can see this, but I uh, just dug out this, uh, Anthony Robbins, Wait, Awaken the Giant Within. I'm thinking like, this is the sort of stuff I should be listening to because I've been actually just sitting with nothing, but I like to get kind of in the zone. I like to get motivated and pumped up when I'm on the way to the office. You know, when I'm about to start work, I like to begin in the right frame of mind where I'm like, yes, I'm laser focused, I'm concentrated, I know what I'm doing, you know, and I'm, and I'm driven to really smash my goals. And so, you know, now I'm like, okay, well, I need to choose to consume something better than just listening to music on this five minutes. So now I'm going to listen to that, right? So, and, and so I just wanted to raise this subject and topic with yourself this morning. You know, as, a, as an entrepreneur, as somebody uh, starting or building or growing a business, you know, you need to think seriously about what it is that you allow to, you allow yourself to consume and to take in. Because if it's not the right type of information, it can have a negative effect on you. Like, think about it. The things you're consuming, the things you're listening, the things you're seeing, either affect you negatively or positively, really, if we strip it down, right? 
If you're seeing something that is negative, it can leave a negative impact. If you're listening or seeing something positive, then it can leave a positive impact. And it kind of comes back to, again, the fact of being careful to choose who you spend your time with. You know, if you constantly surround yourself with negative people, guess what? That's gonna rub off and you're going to be negative. If you surround yourself with the right people, positive people, driven people, people that understand you and your goals and your aspirations and your dreams, then that likewise is going to have a positive impact. And so you may be able to tell as I've slowed down that we're actually in the business park and we're here. So I'll leave you with that thought. Be very aware, shall I say, of what you're choosing to listen to and what you're choosing to consume in your day-to-day -day life because it can make a positive or it can make a negative impact and you should be careful of that. So with that said, have a great day. Here we are, the start of another week. Have a great time and I shall speak to you again in another episode of The Drive. Thanks for watching.